you doing, Zach? Weighing some scrapping, what's it look like? Oh, Zach. Oh, leave me be. I know you're angry, but... Angry? You're asking me to let that scum get away with it? No, no. Look, I can't do nothing. No. I don't want any more violence. I don't want you getting sent down. Zach, I have to find a way to speak to Belle this morning and to tell her about what happened. Oh, me, sir. Think about it, Zach. Think about the family. I want us to go to the police. We don't need them. We do. I've been thinking about it. I want to go. But I can't go without you. I can't do it without you, love. All right. Come on, then, love. Come in. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I need to ask how you are. Hmm. Come on. Charity. I can't stop. I've got an appointment. Bro, hang on a sec. <gasps> what? Look, I know you might not feel like it after yesterday, but I thought we could go for a meal out tonight. Come on. Oi! Hold your horses, you. Where to? Just to the B&B. &B. You know, I thought it might take our minds off things. Yeah, go on. I'd like that. I'd be up for that. I was thinking about inviting Declan and Ella, too. Yeah, fine. But we're going to make the effort, all right? I'll put on my best frock and I want you looking like James Bond. So long as we're talking Roger Moore. Stop being weird. <laughs> well, that is a bit weird, yeah. But it's a date. Why didn't you tell me it was him? I couldn't risk it getting out. You know what your granddad's like. Hello, love. Granddad. Right. Your mum wants to have a quick chat and then I'll take you to your mate's house. What's that chat? Have we done something wrong? No, love. You all right? Thank you for coming. I can stay if you want. OK, well, ring me if you need me. What is it? <sighs> Mum's got so much she wants to tell you. Is that? Um. What I've got to say, it's not nice. But first of all, I want you to know that I'm OK. I'm fine. What's happened? It were a little while ago at the factory. I was... I was attacked. It were horrid. But I'm OK. And me and your dad are going to go to the police. Get them to sort it out. Well... Who attacked you? That's enough for now, love. Who attacked you, Mum? It was Derek. Derek's nice. No, he isn't, love. He seemed to be, but it turned out he was a very bad man. And he did a very bad thing to me. <laughs> you all right? Of course I am. Good. Good. Are you? She said she was, didn't she? You're not, though. No, I'm not. But I will be. When me and your dad have gone to the police. Hmm? I mean, look at her. She's definitely had her wobbly bits airbrushed. Mum. I know, eyes. No one looks that surprised all the time. Yeah, Mum. Wish I could get a few bits airbrushed. You look all right. And if I could get some cosmetic surgery, I'd definitely go for bionic legs. <laughs> Bit more than cosmetic, that, innit, mate? Right, I'm off to little girl's room. Oh, nice of you to show up. work on hold. You didn't have to. No, I wanted to. I planned on being round a bit more. Nice one. Well, um, this is... Steve. Look, I don't want to be rude about your mum. I want to know. Feel free. Do you know the best thing about this? You can shoot off when someone's boring for England. It doesn't bother trying to interrupt me anymore. It just disappears into a different room. Mate, it's probably saved my marriage. Oi! 
Sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah. So Zaki's going to kill him, isn't he? No. It's what then Kane's going to do. Uh, no. No one is going to kill him. This is down to Lisa to handle however she wants. Why don't she want to batter him, though? Because she's civilised, Sammy, that's why. If it was down to me, mine, I'd murder him tonight. On a lighter note, you look rubbish. That's very nice of you, thank you. Late one, was it? Just went for a drink with Flynn. Oh, so it's back on. And you want to know all about it? Yeah. That's not going to happen. See you later. Shouldn't you be fixing Alicia's car? Lines on it, and if you can't find anything, you're going to charge her anyway. What's up with you? I can't be doing with some dozy tart whinging on about a car when I'm having my dinner. Oh, so Alicia's the problem. I thought it might be Mum. <laughs> I say dozy tart, and you think of your mum. Funny that, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake. You said yourself she's playing games. So maybe it's time you got serious. Tell her you were wrong. Tell her you want her back. No way. She's not sleeping with him. She never did. You don't know that. Yes, I do. You slept with Faye, so she's winding you up. Just tell her you're sorry and you can finish it. I can't. You want her back? Do you? Yes. So then get her back. Do whatever you have to do. <sighs> Does anybody feel like working today? Nope. I just can't believe it. What the hell are you doing here? All right, wait a minute. Hey, get out! Oh, no, wait, Lizzie, please. I just want to sort this. You, out! Look, I know things got out of hand yesterday. I just want to talk, all right? You're suspended. Can we go in your office, try and have a civilised no, chat? No, we can't. Get out! There are laws against this kind of thing. Yeah, you want to see what's bring it on? Lizzie, please, won't you listen to me? Well, when I next, eh? When I next on your list, Derek! You're all sticking up for your mates, aren't you? Fine. That's the way you want it. I'm out of here. I quit. What are you waiting for, then? Go on, get lost. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to come in with you? useless up to now. You're probably worse this person. At least I'll be able to hold your hand in there. I've been thinking about what I've got to say. The details. It's going to be hard. It'll be a lot harder with you sat beside me listening to everything. But I am your husband. I should be there with you. I don't want to put you through it. I want you to be here when I come out. So that I see you and then you can put your arms around me. You're ready. Mm. It got off me. He stood there. Stood over me. I'm crying. He said, What's wrong here? Then he went out. When he came back, he was just like the old Derek. It forced me. It hurt me. But he said it was fun, just a bit of fun. And it acted all normal. And I couldn't get out. They'd locked us in. I couldn't get out until he unlocked the door. Do you need a moment? I know I should have said something. I should have done something sooner. I know I should. You 
done so well to come here at all, Lisa. What happens now? You'll need to see the police doctor. We'll examine the scene, speak to your colleagues. Will he be arrested? Will he be able to lock him up? I can't promise anything. The length of time since it happened is an issue. We'll do everything we can. You know what? I could get you a poncho, and what with a black chair, you could roll into the pub all cool, like the man with no name. Yeah, because Clint Eastwood was really known for his wheelchair, wasn't he? It's going to be good, though. Like the guy said, it's going to give you a bit of independence. All right, come in. We need to get some more stuff out of the car. Do we? Yes. So, how did it go? All right, actually, I met a broken adapted wheelchair and he seems really happy with it. So how fast is it going to go? About 30 miles an hour. You're joking? Yeah, I am stupid. I thought your dad would have had a go at me as soon as he saw me. You fancy taking me for a drink tonight? Yeah, of course I will, but what's going on with your dad? Right then. All right then. Bye. See you later. Test a bit, see if it's all right. Ow, it's hot. I think it's ready. Mum, you're OK? You're a fine love. And you've got to stop asking me that. Sorry. When will they arrest him? Well, I don't know, love. It's out of our hands. And we made tea. Oh, hello. Zach, hi. Please say for you. I don't feel like company. I just wanted to see how you're getting. Oh, no. There is something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tea will keep. Uh, Mel, your room's a chip. Come on, Sam, let's feed the pigs. Will you come up in a bit? Of course I will, love. Go on, up you go. Um... <sighs> you look done in. Oh, I'm all right. Um, I think it's what, what I want to say. I want you to tell everyone at the factory that I am sorry. Oh, Lise. I wish I had spoken out sooner. Especially Lizzie. When I think about what no, could no, have no, happened, no, no. it is Please. all my fault. No, none of this, not one tiny bit, is your fault. We were friends. It was funny. I thought he seemed so kind. I enjoyed his company. Do you think I could have led him on? No, of course you couldn't. You didn't lead him on. It was... You were just having a laugh. That doesn't give him the right to do what he did. I wish I'd said something. I was scared of what people would think. What's that I might do? I feel so ashamed. Oh, please, no. No, you have got nothing to be ashamed of. Do you hear me? You're an innocent victim. And it's, it's over. It is over. But it isn't, though, is it? As far as the police are concerned, it's only just started. I employed him. You know, I interviewed him. I gave him a contract. She has been going through hell. Is everything all right? Pull up another bottle of red, please. Mm. I'm white. Already? Pardon? Sorry. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I wish I was loaded. Why isn't Nico here? Because I told him he wasn't invited. Jay? What? It's for his own good. I don't want him getting too comfortable being single. Hang on, you're single too. That's what he said. But I'm working on it. Haven't noticed. <laughs> We've got company. Oh, spare me. This should be fun. I don't remember inviting you. A word. Sorry, a bit busy. Charity. Just you heard the lady. Shut up. Charity. I don't think so. 
All right, come on then. You and me, Kay, now, outside. please. That's a bad idea, mate. I'm not going anywhere until I spoke to Charity. All right. We'll talk. You don't have to. I know that, thank you. Really classy, Keen. What can I get you? Oh, it's all right, Diane. I'll handle these two. You can handle us. In your dreams, love. So come on, what are you up to then? Well, it's me. Surprise you, but seeing as this is a pub, we thought we'd have a pint. But you're not going on anywhere else? Like me. Time for cardigan and slippers, eh? Well, sometimes people just like to have a quiet one. Not me, love. Don't remember you being so boring. I think we've talked before about customer relations. Oh, don't worry about her, Diane. Two pints, then, is it? Please. Yeah, and uh, something else. Packet of crisps? A date. Smooth. I know Valentine's night didn't go too well, but that doesn't matter. So, uh, do you want to give it another go? As long as you're paying. Go on, then. Clint Eastwood? Yeah, well, I told her the film's not called The Good, The Bad and The Tetraplegic. <clears throat> so, you got rid of me pretty quick before? Yeah. Got bad breath. The thing is, I mean, Dad don't know that we're not seeing each other anymore. You're not told him? Well, if I did, I'd just sit into this whole big thing and I just don't need the grief right now. So you said you stopped lying to him about your love life. Have you got any news? I haven't finished this conversation yet. Yeah, but I'm getting bored of it, so tell me something interesting. I saw Flynn again last night. All right. You still all right with it? Of course I am. I just, I just didn't know it was back on the cards. Yeah, well, he called me and we met up. How'd it go? Good. Are you sure you're still okay with it? Of course I am. Go and get me a drink. Yes, uh... If he so much as raises his voice to work, we'll go over. Uh, if he kicks off him, yeah, I'll chuck him out myself. I get it. You never slept with him. Well, well done. You finally worked that one out, did you? You were just trying to make me jealous. <sighs> Is that really what you think? It's not okay. You made me jealous. Game over. What? Get your bag. Let's go home. Come on. You think you can just click your fingers and I'll come running? <laughs> Poor planet are you on? Wait! I'm sorry. Wow. I should have believed you in the first place, all right? I should have believed you'd never sleep with Jay. You think? And I should never have slept with Faye. Big, big mistake. Great. Well, all we need now is to go back in time before you started behaving like a caveman and everything would be fine, wouldn't it? So you're coming home or what? Because I always come back to you in the end, don't I? Look, why don't we go somewhere now? We'll stay the night. You name the place. I'll tell you what. Find a nice restaurant. Order something special. And sit there and eat it all by yourself, like the pathetic loser you are. Wait a I'm minute. I'm done waiting, Kane. You're like a little toddler who's lost his favourite toy. Get this into your thick skull. I'm not coming back this time. How is she? Where's Sam? Oh, I went for a pint. <sighs> She's in a pretty bad way, but I suppose you know that. Yeah. How are you? How do you mean? How are you doing? Me? Oh, no wrong with me. Well, she loves you. She knows how tough this is for you. If she really knew, she'd let me sort of shake me home with. Come on, Zach, that's not the answer. No? Well, you weren't in that crummy police reception. While she was in there, describing what he did to her. I couldn't be with her, Laurel. Couldn't be by her side. 
And then she came out shaking and crying. Oh, if I could have had him in front of me then. When I saw her walk through that door, if I could have had my hands on his yeah, throat... Yeah, then you would have gone to prison for a very long time. Yeah, but at least I felt like I'd done something. You can do something, Zach. You can be there for her, with her. I don't know if I can do it. Stand by, watching. I don't know if I've got the strength for that. I know you, Zach Dingle. I know what kind of man you are. I know how much you love Lisa. And I'm telling you... You have got the strength. I know you have. I, I know you have. Well, she's not giving me much choice. You're in the worst place right now. The darkest place, but I promise you, it'll get better. Yeah, the crystal maze. Push that trolley for your mother, she's getting a sweat on. You push the trolley. I'm doing this. All that and Scylla Black, the new series of Benidorm is at nine. Next, 5,000 apologies for Devon Sunita in Coronation Street. <laughs>